I wanted to talk about <laughs> hello um, my um, I used to work in a cemetery for about about a total of five years at a cemetery where people would come to me and prearrange or at the time of a death they would need purchases and I would help the family through the process and I would also meet with them follow up with them weeks after the burial um, after things calmed down to see how they were doing and uh, you know I just got to thinking about how class separates us and just obscures our view of who we really are as a collective and as individuals and a lot of it is it's just a facade it's just an illusion a whole lifetime of an illusion and what I mean by that is I worked with families that were CEOs. I worked, I helped families bury their loved one who was a janitor. Someone makes a million dollars a year. Someone who makes thirty thousand dollars a year. It don't matter. It's just vegetable ink covered wood pulp in your wallet. That feels that makes you a better person whatever but um, I, you know I did about a hundred burials a year so about five years so 500 families I helped service and you hear a lot <laughs> you hear a lot and you gain a perspective real quick of what life is about and there's a lot of The one reoccurring thing that I kept on hearing is, I wish I had more time with them. I wish my dad had not been at work so much and, you know, had time with me. And now that he's gone or she's gone, whoever it may be, um, they left these things, stuff, inanimate objects that are pretty much worthless to everybody even if you make money from it so what and I spent all this time at work as the CEO or as the janitor they all work 50 60 70 hours a week acquiring accumulating things stuff objects inanimate objects that were supposed to help better them after they're gone and it really doesn't mean a fucking thing these things don't mean jack shit. They're reminders about how their loved ones slaved away at work instead of in their lives, having dinner with them, having conversation with them, stopping over for pie and coffee, um, giving their time to them instead of giving them things and acquiring accolades and and every family, it was almost the same thing. It's like, I have these things, but I don't have them now. And all the time that they spent wasted, the family views it as it has been wasted time to acquire things that they don't want, they're just gonna sell anyway. So it, it's, this has spoke to me in my personal life to have face time with the ones that you love as much as possible and I decided to like, I want to work less so I can have more experiences and time just in nature, with my kids, with whoever, with loved ones. Um, it's all about time and not about things. So that is the most important thing you can do for your loved ones while you're here in the now, in the present, is be here now with them and don't worry about what you're leaving behind and legacies people forget man people forget people 
just be here now. This legacy stuff, people get too caught up in it. Yeah, we're all temporary custodians of everything that we own. And we need to invest more in the time to nurture one another and, and be there for one another. And I don't want to end up like these people who are like, where did the time go? I want to feel the present moment with them. I want you to feel the present moment with your loved ones and just be, just be.